Pierre's late again. What a surprise. Welcome to Dogs on the Run. I'm Andy Baskin. Browns lose yesterday. What are you, read? Were you flagging me already? Flagging Pierre for being late. Well, you don't have to hit me. I mean, I'm like trying to start the show here. All right. Well, sorry. I'm really disappointed. You, you were just caught in the crossfire. I can't help it. Right. Well, uh, now I got to uh, maybe stop the show and pick up this yellow flag. Oh, bend down. Oh, oh my man, goodness. I'm not as young as I used to be. Do you know how many hockey practices I had this weekend? I'm so At old, least man. one. I had like four. I was coaching teams that weren't even mine. Oh, anyways, I'm done kvetching. It's dogs on the run. Uh, the uh, Browns lost yesterday to the Seahawks 30-13. to He's Eric, the referee. I think Pierre will be here in a second. Uh, Kenny Rhodes is standing by. I see we got a couple people on the phone lines. Uh, if you want to call in, it's 216-431-3820, or you can Skype in at Dogs on the Run. All of these wonderful things are here on the bottom of the screen. If you're watching, if you're listening, again, why don't you call us? at uh, 216-431-3820. Look, it's like magic. It keeps coming back, all those What things. are you using the force over there? I am, ooh, oh. By the way, saw Star Wars last night. We're gonna talk about Star Wars for a little bit. Uh, Eric, the referee, what do we have on this amazing edition of uh, Dogs on the Run? We're actually gonna, we're gonna change gears a little bit. We'll talk some Browns. We'll definitely talk some Browns, but if you wanna talk Star Wars. Uh, I would you love can't, to. You can't, no spoilers though. I refuse, I will, I will kick you, you off. You didn't see you it yet, did you? I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. Um, but we will boot you if you spoil the movie for me. Uh, and what, uh, the whole everyone dies in the end. Do you know what I'm tell you that? Yeah, yeah. Whatever, and whatever. it's over. They're not going to make another one. Out. And then also, I want to talk about the big, big Miss Universe uh, catastrophe. Oh, we got to bring that up too. Yeah, uh, think about it. Steve Harvey, oh, what are what you a doing? Surprise! The empty chair is now filled. Pierre, sit down. Sit down. Yes. Relax. Put that on. I already flagged you once, but. Oh, now you got flagged <laughs> again. Anyways, let's uh, let's bring Kenny Rhoda in while you're putting your microphone on. Okay. Hello, Kenny Rhoda. How are you? I'm not too bad. Good morning, uh, gentlemen. Good to see Pierre back in the saddle again to discuss yet another Browns loss as they head towards the first overall pick in the NFL draft. Have to discuss that. Yeah, we're discussing it. Five and eleven starts today. In case you guys are wondering. <laughs> I'm hoping for first pick. I mean, kind of very, very well done, now, right? Andy. As a, as a coach now of a hockey team, you have to have that mindset, right? Oh, I have two. Five and 11 starts today. You want to be on my team next year? You better show. All right, let's start with that. Pierre, are you up to speed yet or no? I'm good. I think the first topic, have the Browns quit. Yes or no? I say no. Yeah. Kenny, go. Um, you know what? Some have, some haven't. And, and that's going to happen. You're going to have a, a fraction at this point. Uh, with, with the team. There are going to be some guys who are already making their off-season plans where they're going to vacation with their family first. And then they have some of the younger guys who realize that uh, they have not made an NFL roster for next year, and they're going to want to show the coach as much as they can, as well as other teams in the NFL by putting something on film for their agent to use in the off-season. So I think some players have called it quits and, and are making their golf plans, their vacation plans, while others realize that if they want to play in this league next year, they better give effort these final two weeks in practice and put some more stuff on film. Uh, Kenny, Ray Farmer, did, it, did we see the true colors of what this organization is all about yesterday with the lack of wide receivers, with the uh, lack of just playmakers on this team? Yesterday, all season long we've seen this. This guy, he should have been fired after he got suspended. I would have canned his ass right after he came back from his fourth game suspension for Tech State last year. So Jimmy's held on to him far too long. They needed to get rid of him. He's the main source of the problem. Well, I take that back. Jimmy Haslam is because he's the guy that hired him or allowed him to be hired. Uh, but Jimmy's not going to fire himself. So uh, next guy in line, the guy talent, you know, evaluates the talent is Ray Farmer. He's got to go. Uh, Can we get the applause? Can you play the applause drop there? Uh, Jerry Sharp has told us on Twitter, um, Hey, good news. Steve Harvey reports uh, it was a mistake. The real winner of yesterday's game, the Browns. I don't know if you guys know that. <laughs> Steve Harvey says, done that's, deal. The Browns have actually won yesterday. That's a real well joke Well played, there. Jerry. That's a follow if I don't follow you. Kenny, nice job. Kenny, well job. Kenny, you got some fire under you this morning, man, about the Browns. You know what? It's, I'm so tired of this. I, I really, I'd rather hey, talk man. Star Wars 
for the next hour. I haven't seen it. I'd rather talk Steve Harvey. I love my family too, but when you announce the, the wrong winner in, in a beauty pageant, I mean, come on. That's an OIC right there. That's an only in Cleveland uh, that's national. Could you do that? Yeah, do you think everybody knows he's from Cleveland, or can he just say he's not? Uh, he's, he's, I, I think everybody in Cleveland knows it, kind of like Drew Carey, but maybe outside of Cleveland they don't realize it. Yeah, He is from Cleveland, but he was born in West Virginia. Hey, we actually we got a soundbite here. If you guys haven't seen the uh, Steve Harvey thing, so we're going to play I, it right here. Right, hang on, play the Steve Harvey thing. Have you, has everybody seen Have you seen this? I've I seen a clip of it. I've morning. seen it. Okay, hang on one second. One second. Uh, George in Lakewood. Hi, George. How are you? I'm doing fine this morning, gentlemen. How are we all doing there? And why don't we talk, instead of all that, why don't we talk about Mount Union winning the D3 championship this week? They did awesome. All right, George, Mount Union did great. But I'm going to bring you in this conversation. So hang on. I need you to be a listener first and a talker second. This is the moment. This is bigger than any Browns game. If you miss Miss Universe, roll it, baby. I have to apologize. The first runner-up is Columbia. Miss Universe 2015 is Philippines. She's like, uh, I get to meet Pierre Woods now. This is awesome. Oh, man, this Andy Basket. Awesome. I can't wait to meet Andy. <laughs> is that the worst moment in your life? <laughs> Kenny, worst thing you've ever done? Oh God! Most I've embarrassing seen so moment like that. Up over the years, Andy. Come on, mispronounce things. Uh, I, I, when I, I remember doing an update when I first started, way, way back. Um, I couldn't say Indianapolis in a sports update. I kept wanting to say Indiana Annapolis because I was thinking Indiana and Indianapolis. So I, yeah, we've all. If we, you've been in this business long enough, you screwed up. But I've never. I don't think I, I've never gone to, to that extent where I, I gave the, the, the wrong information or something that uh, major on national TV. Uh, my most embarrassing moment, we'll get to yours in a second here. Um, I was, host, I was a, a presenter at the to- at Columbus Touchdown Club, and I, was, I, I did my sports cast there. I've been there before. At the Cl- Columbus, yeah. Sp- yeah, it's fun. Anyway, so um, I did my sports cast. I was done at 625. I was in the corner while everything was going on. I had to run on the stage, and they ne- I kept asking, what am I presenting, what am I presenting, what am I presenting, and I never got an answer. And as I was walking up the stage, um, they said, okay, you'll do uh, breakout quarterback or something like that. And I said, okay, and then they hand me the card. I said, and we want to present this year's breakout quarterback. And I looked at the card rather than trusting the force and knowing what I knew was right. I looked at the card because I was in a hurry, stupid, and I said, Please welcome Purdue quarterback Drew Bees. <laughs> <laughs> and people it, in the stands were like, it's Breeze, you at, you know? And I was right. like, oh, oh, boy, thanks. It happened. You know you what? Gotta I got another I mean, one that not... comes to mind for me, Andy. I, what? I did one of the NFL films things, and I referenced O.J. Simpson in like one of the, the – we did something on the top ten running backs that won the Heisman or whatever. And I referenced that he had never won anything in his life, so why should he be that high besides the Heisman? And I think he actually won a national championship at USC one year, but I didn't care. I hate O.J. that much. <laughs> O.J.'s a good guy. Well, come on now. He, he was the juice. He but was yeah, the yeah, juice. Yeah, he, he's the juice. Uh, and, and uh, well, we know. Yeah, he, technicalities and all that. Uh, Marsha Clark. and I, that, that, I can't wait to see that. That's coming on one of the FX channel or something like that. Oh, the that movie? should be an interesting oh, yeah. move for the while. All right, let me go back because uh, we got a – unbelievable. Phone lines are actually packed this morning. 216. Good. Uh, what is it? 216. 431? 431 Don't get this wrong, Steve Harvey. I mean, Andy Baskin. Go ahead. 431 All right, now you can go. First of all, your thoughts on the Miss Universe pageant. Go. I didn't watch it. Oh, my God. Why? Wow. see them beautiful, beautiful I, I had a better program on Sunday with Jim Woods on the lines about the movie from Washington. Oh, how'd that go? How was it? It was excellent. I forgot to ask you yes, about your story. It, it went great. It went great. Were you live or were you on tape? Um, It was – I taped it on – Friday. Okay, where? And then it, um, on, on Euclid. Okay. Right down the street, uh, twenty one something. It was up in a little, a little room or whatever. It was great though. Really? Yeah. All right. The dude had like he had a nice, awesome setup. It was. Who was the reporter? Um, Bob Lee. Oh, it was Bob Lee came into town for that? No, he. Oh. It was. It was uh, a oh, live you were doing feed. Talk yeah, back. it was okay. a live feed you. from uh, Connecticut. Gotcha. Okay. Anyways, go ahead. Uh. 
No, I, like I said, I didn't watch the Miss Universe package. I watched the Browns game on TV and the tablet I have here. I had the Cavs game on. I was satisfied on the first drive, and then the offense fucking disappeared. <laughs> uh, the defense was the same damn thing. Uh, got a little out of tackle, not grab. You so want to do a party tackling and just grab, 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 then it's going to be a sucky ass team. Oh, that's you, right. We are a sucky ass team. Got you know what I've seen, that. George? When I tell you what I've seen, I've seen some guys fighting oh, on the yeah, sideline. I have one other question. What about that spirit incident on right. Odell Beckham Jr. yesterday? Is it going to be a fine or a suspension, you think? <laughs> I, I got to go back and watch it. Everything I heard was fine. Well, I, I know one thing. The Browns were fighting, all right? They were fighting against each other on the sideline. Well, hang on, Joe. I need this. This is breaking news. What happened? Because well, I didn't see it. Uh, the defensive back that keeps getting burnt, Gaines, Gaines? Is that his name? Yeah. he keeps getting burnt. So he pushed Dante Whitner. And yeah. he just doesn't know Dante's from Cleveland. So Gaines can't be out here pushing on a, a Cleveland guy because that's bad for him. That's a bad look. But Dante said something to him that had some fire on him. My thing is, don't fight your teammate. Go out there and fight the team that you're going against. Make did, sure those guys don't get to beat you deep. How did I burnt. miss this yesterday? What uh, quarter was that in? I'm not sure what quarter it was, but I seen the guy push Dante Whitner, which was not a good look. So, no. you know, if, you, if you're going to fight. Too bad he didn't gonna, make that much contact fight. with uh, some of the running backs and the wide receivers yesterday. He might have actually tackled somebody. Well, they, they couldn't tackle nobody. It was out there tackling ghosts. That's what I call it whenever you just want to. You look at a guy, and the guy run right by you, and then you, you face mask him, and then you try to throw him down. It's, How about terrible. that? Yeah, is that not another OIC uh, you know, incident yesterday, guys, right before the end of the half? They're just trying to run the clock out or uh, whatever. They throw over the middle. You tackle him. You go to the locker room. You're only down seven. Instead, the face mask, move it up, and untime down again, and they kick a field goal for three more points. Another OIC added to the list. Uh, Kenny, George and Lakewood, you, you have uh, the last word on this. Go. 30 seconds. I absolutely, I agree with Kenny. That's how the Browns fucking lost right there. Ooh. That last drive, and they had that on time down. Instead of being down seven, go to the locker room, regroup, maybe compete. They're down 10. Well, that's your downfall. Well, you know what period. I think? Period. You know what I think that the uh, Seattle Seahawks took to heart? Was they said that Mike Patton said uh, Russell. Second tier quarterback. He, he's, he's a ridiculous. second tier. Why would you not, say not that? Top, so stupid. He didn't. Oh, come my, on, my guys. Is, if he's, he's an elite quarterback. Oh, stop he's been, it. He's been okay, watching so, Johnny Manziel a little bit too much, man. Well, come on. So what? I mean, he didn't put him in the same <laughs> realm as guys that, you know, that have done a little bit more than him. Hey, look, he went out and proved that he's an elite quarterback yesterday. That's fine. I would, if you listen to the whole body of what Mike said, he praised him. For a minute, and he said, "Well, I think he's just in that second tier. Eventually, he's but why going even to say that year. though? I what? I why say even that. say that? Well, you do have to give your team a little bit of reason to think you. Well, oh, he's the greatest quarterback ever. We're never going to win. What? Coach no. Why right can't you say he? Say that's put, that's why can't you say the defense though? Why can't you say I, he's a great quarterback? But I think our he defense. He did can, say he was a great quarterback. He, he said did. second Go back tier. And to it. Second tier. Why mention? He's the in word? that second tier. But, but you know what? I'm going to post a picture. I took a picture with Bill Belichick's girlfriend yesterday. Oh, yeah? I watched, I watched the game. Wait a second. Where were you yesterday? I was up in New England. Well, how, many, how often are you going back up there for these games? Well, they offered me to come back and sign autographs and, you know, meet with people. So, you know what? I've been doing it. I don't blame you, man. I'd be flying every game, too. That's awesome. Not every game. No. Good for you. No. All right, George. Uh, Johnny Manziel. Wait, Everybody. I want to hear about Bill Belichick's girlfriend. The hell with George. What All about right. Bill Belichick's <laughs> girlfriend? See you later. You're out. <laughs> peace, brother. Peace. I'll, I'll, I'll post right, it on bro. Twitter, man. I'll, I'm going to put it. Shoot it out. I'll retweet it. I want to see this, man. That's good. I'm glad Bill's got a girlfriend. Here, can you post it? I worried about, about him all these years. Is Bill going to be mad? No, 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 no. She, Linda's excellent. That's Bill's girlfriend. And you know what? Here's the thing. Oh, you know I've what seen her before. Belichick yeah. would have said oh, uh, about Russell Wilson? Send Belichick over. would have said over. what a great player he is and what a great I'm team they're going up against and all that stuff. But I want to be Pierre Woods for like a minute. Oh, my goodness. Andy. Only you, a minute? You're, you're my best friend. All right. Oh, you can, that nice. that Dude, sweet. you can do better. I'm telling you. You can do better than me. What? <laughs> Did you send it out yet, Pierre? I'm looking for it on Twitter. Is it out there? Oh, we lost. Uh, we had, God, we draw, lost a couple phone calls. Um, all right. Uh, you send this out yet or no? Yeah, hold on, hold on. All right. Relax. All right. It's coming. It's coming. Ken, uh, Kenny, I want to talk about the game, but I really don't. Did you see Star Wars this weekend? You know what? I have not. I, I figure I'll wait till it all calms down. I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. 
In fact, when the first ones came out, I didn't go see them when the first one out. I didn't go see them later. So uh, I'm not uh, that geeked up about, about that. I want to go see the Will Ferrell I, movie. That's I want to propose out. this question for so you guys. Just, hang on, hang on. Let me just let me do this really quick. So I went last night. Uh, Mike Karens, I, I got. I didn't get home till late last night, so I'm kind of a little groggy this morning. But uh, Mike Karens, myself, Daryl Ryder, and uh, up, Kenny, uh, Randy, uh, who All fills right, cool. in as a referee, also went too last night. I thought it was a really good movie. Really good movie. We got to do the same thing for concussion. All right, we'll go on this, this show. Or? Yeah. Hey, re real quick, uh, we were talking about. Uh, here's the picture. You guys okay, let's see the picture. Oh yeah, there you go. Nice, nice, Pierre. Good for Bill. She's got something on her chin. Oh, that's the cursor. That's the can you move the cursor? <laughs> that's Thank a big mold. It could be a I nice mold. Like some giant, I, it it could be a nice mold. I thought there was a fly or something. In oh, it. man. <laughs> you know what? I thought she'd be wearing a hoodie, and I thought it would be pulled up. You yeah. know what? The hoodie's up in, in, a, in a press box, though. I swear on everything. It's <laughs> up there. Where's the cutoff cut sleeve? Sleeves, everything. It's, it's sitting up there in a the, the plastic glass, and it's up, in a, it's up in a press box. It's crazy. I believe it, man. I got you that one on there. They got it's, it close it's the by. That's good. One with the cutoff sleeves. Right. And it's sitting up there in the press box in hey, the glass. Hey, Kenny, I was hoping she was going to say, uh, I moved down to Pierre. <laughs> no. I moved down to Pierre. No, she, she she's a nice lady. I, I love her. Moved down Linda. to Cincinnati. I moved down to Pierre. <laughs> good for Bill, man. Hey, I never would have imagined when he was here in Cleveland that he'd ever win, uh, you know, one Super Bowl, let alone four, because he, he was so bad and used us as lab rats. But God bless him, man. He's one of the best coaches. Your face, my face, all face. It's all great. Love it. FaceTime, Facebook. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Matt Talk. Well, you know, his, his assignment is when Jackie comes. Yeah, I'm Bill Jackie Belichick. comes yeah. in here, and it's going to be all love. Oh, yeah. Let's ask her. Yeah, well, she, is, is Jackie she, here today? They on vacation. Can we, let's call her. You got her phone number? Let's. I don't care if she's on vacation. Or yeah, let me let's broadcast call. her phone number to the whole world. Paula, what are you saying? No, no we, we don't have. You, you like already just said we don't have her number. Wow. Let, let's let's shift back to little Browns talk. Well, it, it's uh, shifting back is exactly what we're doing. We're shifting. About yes. Like I said, they were fighting on the sideline. Yeah. yeah which, okay. which, which, so which was, tell me exactly what happened. I just seen the kid, you know, Dante said something to him, and he had his helmet off, and the kid had his helmet on, and next thing you know, he just pushes Dante like, boom, and Dante's like, man, you better get, the, you know, I seen yeah. the F-bomb come out, but I don't know how severe it was. I mean, you out there, it's, it's heated the battle. It's so I don't think we saw it. Did you see this on TV? Yeah. I did not, know. You did? I seen yeah. clips of it. How did I miss this? I don't, I don't know. I, I, okay, anyway, so go ahead. So I just think that they were, they were fighting amongst each other because whatever Dante said to him, but... He had the right to say something to him. But at the end of the day, they all got to tackle better. They all got to get better. Like Jamal no, Williams said, he's like, man, we got a long way to go, which they do. But you know what? Really? Let me grab your face mask. Yeah, I can do it again. Yeah, do it again. I don't want to do it again. That, <laughs> You're Add that to another one of the horrible moves made by Ray Farmer, Jamal Williams, bringing him on board. He's been awful this year. Wait, well, so, let me ask what? this. Is it him or is it the fact that when you come to Cleveland, suddenly you forget everything you've ever known that helped you become a uh, money yeah. grab? When you come to Cleveland and you've already been to a Super Bowl or won a Super Bowl, Cleveland's a money grab. That's all it is. Well, I said that before. Just that, that same thing guys you say about the Buffalo Bills. We go to Buffalo. Here's the thing with that. If you're a veteran... If you're a veteran in this league and you're playing on a horrible team, there's got to be a lot of, a part of you that that's saying, "Why should I try? Why should I play? I got my money. There's no reason for me to play." Because, because it's Paul the other guys. Paul Kruger won a years. Super Bowl it's with Baltimore, thing. and so he wanted to get paid. He didn't play, care where he went. He already got his ring. He can never take that away from him. He got paid coming to Cleveland. Dwayne Bowe getting paid coming to Cleveland. Uh, Tremont Williams yeah, getting Dwayne paid Bowe coming to Cleveland. Those guys have won their stuff, and, and now they want to make sure they're financially set. And Jimmy Haslam is willing to pay him because Ray Farmer said so. Well, Ray Farmer, the biggest thing is that he doesn't want to draft any receivers, and that's evaluating talent. And right there, we don't have very much talent at receiver. Um, guys get injured. I was watching New England yesterday. You know, Hightower went down, Amendola went back down, and those guys just kept going. They they were chugging and plugging away. I don't know how they do it, but they continue to do it. They find guys off the street. Some way, somehow, I know we got better talent than what New England has, but we just do, we don't display it at all. Do you really, see, I don't think that. I, I think you, Brady I'm, makes everybody else better. Man, you, know, you know what? When you walk in that building, it's, it's, it's an aura about everybody in there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? From the, from the guy from the bottom of the totem pole to the high guy. You know, everybody wants to win and be a part of a winning program and an organization. And that's what it boils down to. 
It's no talking. We're not going to do this. We ain't going to say this. We're going to say that. We're going to go out there. We're going to work our ass off. We're going to bust our ass, and we're going to win for this team. We're going to win for these fans, and we're going to make sure that everybody's happy around here. And that's what the Browns don't do, and we don't have a GM that wants to do it either. All yeah, right, hey, let's hey, pray. Hey, 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 guys. Talent hey. evaluation, guys. Look at the Steelers' wide receivers. Uh, where was Antonio Brown drafted? Sixth or seventh round? Out Marcus Central Wheaton Michigan. was what, a second or a third rounder? Martavis Bryant was a, a second or a third round? I mean, look, for a fourth rounder, I'm sorry. And, and they're able to find that it comes down to talent evaluation. That That's where this team has been lacking since 1999. The, Brown, the Browns have old scouts. They let go of John Spitek, who's out there in Denver now, who was a guy who, who knew talent. I played with him at the University of Michigan. They said, no, we're cleaning the house. Get out of here. Shocker. We'll, right, we'll check in. With, hang on a second, guys. We'll check Everybody. in with Tubby uh, a little later to see what uh, talent the PSAC has for the Browns coming up in this draft. Oh, that's a great tease. You really interrupted the show for that? Ooh. I did. You did. Tubby, Tubby. Howie. Hey, PSAC. There, there is the interrupter. I'm going to call you the inter interrupter. Howie. Uh, we see him. Howie. <laughs> Why buddy. does that keep happening? All right, you do it. All right. Howie. Hi. Andy. How are you? What's going good on this morning, Howie? Hey, we I suck. Say good afternoon to Pierre. Thanks for stopping in. <laughs> <laughs> I get fired up right now. That's man. all right. We're on Michigan time. It's all good. Hey, uh, that's only 10. Back to the game real quick. Uh, <laughs> the obvious stuff okay. was lack, lack of tackling, obviously, drop balls. Uh, thing that was kind of upsetting was uh, watching Dwayne Bowe catch three balls in a row and then kind of defiantly flip the ball after like he's some kind of a stud. That was just ridiculous. Howie, I'm writing it down as a note because I remember that yesterday too, and I, I went to well, go say something about it. He, he was kind of an idiot about it. He was. Did you see how he threw the ball after he made every one of his catches? I was watching a real game. I'm sorry. It was the same game. I. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, no. That's yes, right. You're in New England. Sorry. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to see it. I wish I had seen it, though, because whether he threw the ball like a stud or not, you know what, he's out there. He finally got the chance to catch three balls again. I would have been happy just like he's happy. I mean, you're getting paid $9 million, and you're just sitting there. And, I mean, he has talent, some type of talent. As we can see, at least he caught three balls, even though Duke Johnson was, our, I believe, our leader receiver, five receptions, yeah. which is terrible, terrible. 39 yards. Well, a lot of yards. Yeah, he was the leading rusher as well, wasn't he? Yeah. That's oh, wow. Okay, then. He's that's your all-purpose, all-guy. about Manziel? Nothing. Is Manziel your guy? Do we, can, it, can we move you gotta forward keep him. You got to keep him. You got to play him. And I listened to the press conference afterwards with Petten. Yeah. And one of the things he said was the, one of the reasons they lost the game was that they couldn't uh, – they had to move guys around, and these guys didn't get any quality first-team reps to practice. Oh, they got to give them go with these you know, This is the time of the season. Shit's done. We're finished. So let those guys practice. Put them in the game and see what you have. Then you'll know where you got to carve it up. But I think for the most part, we keep keep what we've got, find a couple new pieces. But we got to do a decent job with the draft. I listened uh, in my car radio on the way in, and there was uh, a couple of sports pundits on, and they were talking about Sammy Watkins, who we could have had as the top, you know, threat in the league right now as a wide out. And we go down to Justin Gilb. Holy fucking wow. <laughs> All right, Howie, have a Merry Christmas. I know we got to take off. Hey, you guys do the same. Thank you very much. Talk to you next week. All right, we'll Merry talk Christmas. to you soon. All right, I want to bring in, I, I want to fly through a bunch of topics with Craig Lindell. So, uh, Craig, he also wants to talk a little Star Wars, so we'll. Yeah, I definitely. We'll All right, first, let's. Um, just give me your 30-second assessment of the Browns. They suck. We're all worried. Yeah, Manziel, quarterback of the future, yes or no? Uh, no. But Did you have to draft a quarterback well high? No, here, I, I got some bullet points from listening to the show already. Okay, go ahead. Are, are we going to pretend Tremont Williams hasn't had a good year? Are we going to really pretend that as he filled in for Joe Hayden, who, you know, concussions and all, you know, I, I'm not dogging on him, but he couldn't get on the field this year. Tremont Williams had a good year this year. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't say who, he had, who dogged him. Was it you? That was Kenny. Kenny oh, said Kenny he him. Him. Uh, Kenny's off. Oh, yeah. okay. All uh, right, anyways, I, he hasn't bothered me this season. I, no, I, I think they need guys that know how to win. It's, and it's hard to be the only corner out there that, you know, get picked on. I mean, I ain't going to say get picked on. They they throw on his side, but at times, you know, he seems like he falls asleep a little bit. But you know what? He's done well the whole season. He's been out there. He's been only consistent defensive back we've had so far. So 
And speaking, can we also say that the Browns backs. anemic pass rush? Uh, it's tough to cover somebody for 35 seconds when you have no pass rush. Okay, we can say that. Listen, uh, Craig, let's get a little deeper in the Browns here real quick. Do they need to draft a quarterback now in the first round after you, well, you've seen this little thing of Johnny Manziel? It's really hard um, because I, I do think that Johnny Manziel has the talent to play in the NFL, but it's all the other stuff. And all the other stuff cannot be answered in those last couple games. Um, Johnny Manziel appears to be developing. He appears to have the talent that many thought he had coming out of college. But how do you trust him? How do you trust – how does anybody trust him, whether it's Ray Farmer or whoever takes over for Ray Farmer? How do you trust him – Going forward, can you go forward with Johnny Manziel, Austin Davis, uh, Josh McCown, Connor Shaw, whatever it turns out to be, um, if that backfires and blows up in your face in predictable fashion off the field, um, are you willing to look like a jackass that didn't have a better plan? Um, where are we as far as the front office is good? Is Mike Patton, does it seem like these guys have quit? I think they haven't. I think that I see a lot of guys that are still kind of fighting. They played a team that was better. And, Pierre, I think you can relate to this. I'm sure that when you played any team other than Appalachian State, early on in the season before you got into Big Ten when mm -hmm. you were in Michigan. I never played you, Appalachian State. I wasn't there. but I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, if you played another team like that in the beginning of the season, mm -hmm. Michigan is what Michigan is. And if you're playing a MAC school, and I'm not dogging the MAC schools, or, or somebody who's just, you know, it's not a, not a Power Five conference. Right. Those games all, this, that's what yesterday's game looked like to me. It looked like Ohio State against North Dakota or South Dakota or something like that because they, you, they go out there. The other team's got guys that are starting on there that could be backups in a Big Ten team. And they come out and they look effective, and then all of a sudden they just don't have the gas to hang with another team. That's what I watched yesterday when I saw the Browns. Down yeah, no, I'm down with it. I'm definitely down with it. Those guys look absolutely horrible out there. You know, from the little clips I've seen, I was just like, wow. Um, we, I don't know, we can't pinch a, a B. Do you, do, you, do you buy that? Craig, that's, it's like Ohio State playing an inferior team yesterday is what it felt like to me. Oh, you yeah, and, and I don't think stop. they quit. I think they came out there looking to play as hard as they could, which is more than I can say for some previous teams that we've seen since 99. It's, a, it's an interesting time to look between, because I don't think anybody can look at what the job that Ray Farmer's done and say that you know he should keep his job going forward. But ultimately, I think the doghouse, Mike Pettin's, you know, impossibly, uh, Im impossible doghouse is what's going to get him fired. It's, it's, I like Johnson Batamosi, I really do, but we know he's not a cover corner. And so if Mike Pettin's willing to die by him and Taylor Gabriel instead of Dwayne Bowe, and I think it's interesting that Dwayne Bowe has been kind of the, the whipping horse or, what, you know, whatever. Everybody blames him for all the problems that the Browns have had this year. But over the course of the season, the fact that he hasn't been able to get on the field to prove that he doesn't have anything left, if he doesn't have anything left, it, it kind of lays at the feet of Mike Pettin. And I think more people are blaming Mike Pettin than ever before. Yeah, but if he can't get through a practice, why would you put somebody on It's like Justin Gilbert, all right? If Justin's horrible in practice, I'd rather take the heat and say, well, we're not playing him knowing that he's going to go out there and get burned. I watched what Dwayne Bowe did yesterday. He caught a couple of balls, but, I mean, could he have flipped the ball anymore? What was he trying to say? My Just catch the ball, move down the field, and make it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to be an idiot after you make every catch. He was, looked stupid yesterday. Would, just, would Justin Gilbert do just as bad as a guy at games? Because games begin torched. I can put, I'll yes. go out there and play defensive back. Yeah. Then, I mean, God, dog, keep the guy in front of you. Well, and that's the real point. Like, don't, don't. The, the fans in the front office and everybody get a chance to see them fail on the field? Is that what you want? But ultimately, that all comes back on the coach, doesn't it? Yep. You want to see somebody get burned on the field? Well, then, now all of a sudden, you didn't have he the talent. That's on the general manager. If you're I a know coach, Johnson Battle are you going to send... get burned? This was my argument on the, on the radio. If you knew you had a debate coming up, and they told you the debate was on uh, molecular science, mm -hmm. and you didn't know anything about molecular science, and I was your coach, and I knew you didn't know anything. I'm going to go find a guy that might know a little bit more about molecular science than you because I know you don't know. I don't want to put my school in that position. I don't want to put my team in that Understandable. position. So none of these guys are, are nuclear scientists on this team. You and know, maybe he feels like Justin Gilbert can't get even a little bit of a grasp on it. Well, you have a number eight overall pick returning kicks. This what is a what horrible you, pick. So this is what you do, though. Take some of that money back from him. 
that guarantee money. You take some of that money, I guarantee you, then you put his ass out there and you make him earn it the way he needs to earn it. How do you do that? Man, some way, You got to restructure a contract in the middle of a contract? Yes. It doesn't work that way. You need to. You're they, in the NFLPA. That doesn't that's, work that that's, way. That's, they need to do something. Yeah, guess what? Here's right, though. Why that's would the players ever do, they, do that? The Browns they, need there's to, no way he would ever do that. Listen, he needs to, They need to cut him. They need to cut him. That's it. Do something. I mean, if he thinks it's a, it's a waste, I mean, if, he, if he's going to waste everybody's time and his talent and, you know, the coach's time, get rid of him. Craig, we're flying. Did you see Star Wars, yes or no? I did see Star Wars, and all I could think about was that uh, that franchise was dead. Dead, dead, dead until Disney bought it and put J.J. Abrams in charge. When is somebody going to buy the Browns and put them and put uh, J.J. Ooh. Abrams in charge? It's not a bad idea. Hey. Oh, uh, rating for you or a grade on the movie? Oh, I, I don't want you to it. give away the weight. It was uh, it was a return to everything in the culture that we love about Star Wars. Uh, uh, I don't know, a a a minus, a plus. It was great. I loved it. All right, I'm right there with you. I want to say I, I'd love to have an actual conversation about the movie, but I, when is the right time that we can do that over the air? Oh, it's right now. What are we going to do? Talk about the Browns? I will boot you. Oh no, because there's this whole feeling that you have to wait till after the first of the year to actually have a real conversation. Uh, Which I, let's I, talk, I, let's I talk generically. Is, so, movie. is that the be, the greatest villain in the history of Star Wars now? No. No. He might surpass Darth Vader. No. Bye-bye. No way. They're going to hang up on you. No way. All right. <laughs> we'll talk more about it later. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, guys. Greg. All right, Craig Rock. <laughs> Make sure you go to waiting for next year to see all the great stuff they have. Um, you know, one of the problems the Browns had yesterday was was dropping balls, and that's also a problem that they have in the PSAC conference. So let's go to Tubby. Tubby, Tubby do they Tubby. drop as many balls in the PSAC or not? No, we keep, we keep strung up pretty tight in the PSAC. And also, fuck you and fuck you. We're almost pulling that guy to the moon that seen yet. What? I didn't hear a word you just said. I know it's a lot of F-bombs. Let's say it again. Yeah, I got you. I said, fuck you guys for almost pulling the goddamn moon. I didn't spoil anything. We didn't say anything. Close. Well, hey, would you call us back, Tubby? Your your self your Skype line stinks. Call us back. Okay. Love you. I love you too. He dropped an F bomb on me. He said he said F you guys. Uh, I ain't had nothing, I don't know none about Star Wars, bro. Nothing? nothing. He said F you guys. All, all I know, all I know Samuel Star Jackson plays someone and Dark, and Dark Vader was I, I know uh what's his name? Um Harrison Ford yeah. plays in there. Yeah, you saw Besides that. And Chewbacca is, is it Mike Vrabel. Well, I don't know. I think uh, Vrabel's hairier than Chewbacca. Don't oh, you think that? That's what I'm saying. That's I'm Chewbacca. Saying he's hairier. Hey, that dude was doing? a very hairy guy. Where's Tubby? <laughs> Tell, did you get Tubby on the line yet? Get him back on the line. I want to he, he's say. calling right now. Hang on. Let's bring Kenny T- back in, too. Tubby, Hi, Kenny. Tubby with his F bomb. Right, hey, what's up, man? Here. I'm, eating, I'm having my coffee this morning. Have you ever have, uh, had uh, chocolate covered coffee oh, yeah. beans? How many? Don't eat too many, Kenny. Your teeth going to rot. All right, Tubby's on the line. I'm going to eat two of them. They're really good. Yeah, I don't like you, coffee. You I've had do. like one cup of coffee my entire life. But these coffee beans that are uh, either dark chocolate or, or milk chocolate, they're really good, man. Yeah, they're good. Don't eat too many of them, though. You're, yeah, you'll... Don't eat too many of them. You'll tear up your stomach. Yeah. All right, Tubby, you on the line? Yeah, brother. All right, Tubby, go ahead. Give me your Star Wars take there real quick. Well, no, I haven't seen the fucking movie yet, and I thought you guys were going to spoil it. And you were like, came like a cat hair, like close to it. We didn't spoil anything. I was going to hang up and like, forget you guys. Listen, I, it, this is, th- there's no spoiling here. You can either say, do you think Darth Vader is the greatest villain, or will you think someone else will be a better villain? That, that has nothing to do with saying the movie. You can get around yeah, no, it. No, it does, because now I'm going to go there and wait for this guy to do something excellent. I'm going to wait for him to, like, to go to that status. Tell me, do you not think there's time. a villain in the movie? It's a spaghetti well, no, western. western. A That's villain, all Star Wars is. I live up to like, Darth Vader. Fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. But, so, no, I mean, it sounds like you're pretty mad this morning, Tubby. I know. You got my blood pressure up and shit. I got to go home and take my meds now. Oh, Tubby, it's man. not like I said Yoda died. Well, I know. Hey, guess what? Luke? Luke is Darth's son. All right? You good with that? Oh, you're killing me. Did I, does that hurt you? But hey, do you know why, do you know why episodes four, five, and six came out before episodes one, two, and three? Because Jar Jar Banks is the worst character in the history of movies? <laughs> no, because Yoda was in charge of the release date. Who Yoda was? Yeah. 
Get it? Yeah, I get it. Okay. Thanks, Eric. You're on point today. Thank you. All right, well, what did you think of the game percent. yesterday? Um, well, I only seen half of it because I was at a wrestling tournament with my son, Pudge. Your son and is Pudge? You're Tubby and he's yeah. Pudge. Yeah, that's what I call him. Yeah, my oldest son is named Pudge, and then my youngest son is named Beans. Are they both P-Sack What's, his, what's, his, what's the oh, oh, Beans? What? Yeah, my, yeah. So it's Tubby, Pudge, and Beans. Yep. What's your wife? Um, the Commander-in-Chief. Okay, good oh, enough. Okay. Fair enough. Better happy wife, right. happy life, right? Exactly. Right? Uh, she's, she's my Miss Universe. That's why I didn't watch it last night. Wait, Where are did they you on what happened on Miss Universe pole. last night? Huh? Do you see what happened? No, I didn't see it until you guys played it. Here, well, hang on. Let's play it again. You got it? You got it close over there, Eric, the referee? Here we go. Stand by. Listen. Listen. I have to apologize. The first runner-up is Columbia. Miss Universe 2015 wow. is Philippines. How about Miss USA who's standing right next to her? Tubby, I know you can't see it because you're on the phone line. Miss USA is like, oh yeah, this happens all the time. Not a big deal. So, <laughs> Not a big deal at all. I, I got to think about that. Why, why do they call it first runner-up? Why don't they just call it, you got second place? Because I mean, if you can't fulfill your duties, you are the first runner-up. There are many things Miss Universe has to do. I mean, seriously, right. when she goes to the Miss Intergalactic uh, competition against uh, the winner of Andromeda, we need her to be ready. And if she's not, I need that first runner-up. You're to go. ridiculous. You're ridiculous. Right, I mean, Thank you. Thank you for throwing that flag. All over the world that she's got to show up for, and she turns out to be a cracko. She can't go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> remember Vanessa? I, he's not going to remember this. You remember Vanessa Williams? Yeah, when she, she got, had to give up her reign? Yeah, she's got a talk show right that's now. Good. Hold on, that's because she was doing some of the nasty. Well, but she had done that in the past. Oh, and well. some people wouldn't think that was so nasty. I thought she was a, uh, a porn It was artistic. She was doing some yep. Playboy. She wasn't supposed to do that. Nothing. Wow. It was wasn't, but it was kind of outstanding, didn't it? She was doing that. I'm just saying. I hey, like Playboy's Vanessa credible Williams. now. They don't have any more naked photos. Yeah. I like yeah. Vanessa Williams, personally. Great but, articles. You know, she was just, she shouldn't have showed her goods. But they apologized to her. Yeah, but now everybody <laughs> shows their goods. Do you think we're not going to see Miss Universe's goods here in the next two, three years after she's done being Miss Universe? Not on Playboy, you won't. Well, you guys Playboy. Will, I won't. Uh, uh, Tubby. Yeah. Yeah. Is it a big deal now? Looking back on Vanessa, are you old enough to remember Vanessa Williams, what she did? Yeah. I got a Steve Harvey thing for you, though. All right, hang on a second. D is what, l looking back on Vanessa Williams now, is that that big a deal? And compared to today's standards, no. Yeah, that's what I say. Kenny Rhoda, what she did, Vanessa Williams, in those pictures, big deal Back today? Then it was a huge deal today. Where it, she probably, it would help her, you know, notoriety and, and get her more gigs. She'd have, more, she'd have ten times the amount of money she has now. if and it was, if it was on Twitter and everything like that, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, today it wouldn't be that big a deal. I agree. So it would be like the Kardashian Kim, huh? Oh, absolutely. There you go. Sex that's tape. it. Yeah, well, that's, that's how they got famous. That's all. What, uh, Eric the referee, what were you saying over there? Were you done? That was Tubby saying something. No, I thought you said something else. Uh, Tubby, all right, quickly, give me your 60-second assessment of the Browns moving forward. Who stays, who goes? I don't know at this point. I mean, once you put the dumpster fire out, I don't know. You just have to see what you have left over. I mean, to me, the game, what I did see of it the second half, it, it was a lot like my son wrestling yesterday. He's in the 11- and 12-year-old bracket. He's 11 years old, and he was just outclassed. I mean, he lost all four matches, but he still got out there, still tried. He didn't make the same mistake twice. Is he, he in the PSAC conference for wrestling? outmatched. They just got beat down. Is there a junior PSAC conference for your son? Is that what he's in? No, he's in Area 6 for Pennsylvania Youth Wrestling. So is Area 6 above or below the PSAC conference? Uh, it's like right in the heart of it. Okay, just making sure. Right in the heart. All right, we're done. Uh, Tubby, have a Merry Christmas. All right, thanks Merry to Christmas. them. Any, any parting words for Browns Mary. fans? Tubby? What? Any parting words for Browns fans? Um... 
try to save your liver as much as possible, and the draft is coming, and we'll start the whole circus again in August. Thank you, Tubby. Merry Christmas. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks. Peace out. Peace out. See you, Tubby. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. That, that should be his uh, Yeah, that should be his new slogan. That's not forward. a good way of making Tubby get out of here. Peace out. out. Peace, peace out. out. Deuces. Who did that last week? I don't know. Somebody ended a, a press conference with deuces last week. I'm not sure. Or no, no, it was who? Uh, Kenny, help me with this. Uh, I'm trying I'm to remember. I'm trying to think out too, and I can't remember. But it was who was it? It was a player that got the locked. In. Well, that was it. Yeah, who was the player that said they came to Cleveland? It was they were from Baltimore. Came to Cleveland on a recruiting trip, and went into the Bart, bathroom. Uh, Bart Jones. Uh, Bart, Bart Scott. Scott. It was Bart, Bart Scott. Scott, the linebacker. Oh. Yeah, Bart Scott said he came to Cleveland. Thought about it his, and then realized he, he wanted to go back to Baltimore. He contract with, uh, with the uh, Ravens while in the bathroom at Brown's headquarters, and he just walked out and said, thanks, guys, I'm out of here, deuces, and walked out. <laughs> hey, he made, he made a, a great decision. That was one of my favorite stories. He made a great decision. Um, let's go to Matt Lodi. Matt, did you see Star Wars? Uh, yeah, I did, actually. Friday give it a, just give it a letter grade. Uh, I would have to say it's an A. I mean, it's a fantastic movie, and everything that they wanted to do and everything that should have been done was done. I don't think there's many complaints. I don't think I'm speaking for the minority, because if you look at the grades around, uh, you know, around the so-called movie insiders, they all kind of gave it an A, too. So it was really good. They did a very good job with it. Oscar? Oscar-worthy? Um... You know, I'm not a big Oscar guy. I don't tend to see a lot of those movies. My dog here probably wants to get in the picture again, but I don't tend to see a lot of those movies. But you know what? Maybe because it, it might be probably mentioned in that breath, maybe I will a little bit this year. Actually, I did see the one that won the best picture last year, the one with Michael Keaton, Birdman, or something yeah. like that. And I wasn't that big of a fan of that movie, so I don't tend to go in that direction when it comes to movies, but... I mean, if something is supposedly up for an Oscar, maybe I'll catch it. But I don't know. I, I just thought Star Wars was a really, really good, you know, we're all of that generation. I think Andy, you and I and, and Kenny and, and Pierre, I think, are too, where, you know, we grew up with it. So we, you know, going kind of back to our childhood, I think it was, I think they did just a, such a really good job with it. Yeah, but think about this. Like, we had nothing moving forward for, since, uh, when was the last, when did uh, Return of the Jedi? Was that 81, Kenny? What 83. Was that? No, 83. 83. 83. So think about that. We've had nothing new. You were one years old in 83. At least you were born. Um, you know, we haven't had any that. new information moving forward since this week, since 1983. Right. right. And, you know, time. it's funny because I was on Twitter, obviously, yesterday during the Steelers game, and uh, somebody put up that it's 362 days until the new, the next one now. You know, Rogue One, I believe it's called. So, uh, you know, already that hype is going to start building pretty quickly as well. Well, we're, so we're only a year away from the next movie. Is that what you said? Yeah, that's what it said. At least I didn't know that, but that's what somebody said, and it got a lot of likes and retweets. So I'm assuming that's the case. If know? that's the case, that movie's got to be almost done. Yeah, it I think they be. were shooting them pretty well back to back. Yeah. Yeah. It's, wow. Because Harrison Ford is getting pretty. Uh, he's getting up there in age. Yeah, he's getting pretty old in the tooth there, right? Yeah. So I mean, he looks good to be his age, though. It's good. He doesn't. Yeah, no doubt. It's actually just yeah. good to be alive, isn't it? Amen. Uh, give me the update. Give me the update on the Steelers. Well, you know, that obviously was a playoff game yesterday. There's no question about it because with the Jets winning over the uh, Cowboys on Saturday night, you know, even though the Steelers, you know, are in a situation where, you know, if you look at the records, I believe they could have lost one game and had the Jets lose one game. They still would have been in the uh, playoffs. I, I think yesterday clearly was a playoff-type atmosphere. I was actually at Heinz Field yesterday. It was incredible. Uh, you know, that place was, was very much like a, like a playoff game, and they played it like a playoff game. The first half did not go their way. It was terrible. They were down 27 to uh, 13 at halftime. And, you know, Brock Osweiler played a great first half. Now, this is a guy who's been much maligned the last couple of weeks. The Raiders shut him down last week. And in the second half, they made the adjustments and came all the way back. They played a very, very big, big second half. Uh, ben Roethlisberger over 350 yards again, a couple of touchdowns. And the defense really is what saved the game for him yesterday. They stepped up when they needed to. Uh, Ryan Chazier, the former Buckeye, with a big interception late in that football game. And, you know, they rally for the win, 34-27. So now if you're the Steelers, you don't want to have a letdown. You go to Baltimore next week against a bad Baltimore team. 
and then you come and you finish the season off here in Cleveland. So if you win your last two, you're guaranteed a, a spot. Actually, if the Steelers win next week and the Jets lose to New England, they're guaranteed at least a playoff spot. Now, where they would be seated, it's all up in the air. But I think if you're the Steelers, I, I heard it 100 times yesterday, the two teams that nobody wants to play in the postseason right now would be Seattle and Pittsburgh. So, uh, you know, it's interesting that, you know, it took this long, but the Steelers are finally, at least as of today, in the postseason. Last question for you. More than 25,000 or less than 25,000 Steeler fans for the last game of the stadium uh, at First Energy? I would have to say more because I think if you're a Browns fan and you're a season ticket holder and you just want out right now, you're going to sell those tickets and you're going to get a pretty penny for them because the Steeler fans will pay to come to Cleveland the final week, especially if a playoff spot is on the line. No question about it. Matt Lodi, always love talking to you. We'll read you Steelers, Gab. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. Have a great holiday. We'll talk to you soon. Happy holidays to you. Kenny, more than 25,000, less than 25,000 Steeler fans. I think that's a good number. I think 25,000, yeah, it'll seem like more when the stadium's empty in the fourth quarter and they all move down and are waving their terrible towels and everything like that. So uh, that, that's probably a good number. All right, Eric, the referee, I'm ready to start my vacation because I'm done until uh, next Sunday here. So let's do grade the team right now. How's that hey, sound? Hey, real quick, for you guys, for you Star Wars guys, yeah. we had Star Wars night at a Monsters game recently. Oh, yeah. I just sent out pictures of me and R2-D2 and me and uh, C-3PO. So Where are they, them Kenny? on Twitter right now. There, hang on, I'm going to go pull back. them up. Hold on. Hang on. Let's show those. I'm going to retweet you, Kenny. We had, a, we had like 11,000 there that night for uh, the Monsters. They won the game. They beat Chicago. It was Star Wars night, The Force Awakens. And they actually had C-3PO and R2-D2, the old school, uh, you know, robots there. So I don't know what the new ones are called, but uh, it was kind of cool uh, getting to check these things out, man. Um, yeah, we, th let me ask you this. What should I do <laughs> Sunday? What, what time is – Sunday's game is at like 4, isn't it? No, it's a 1 o'clock game, isn't it? It's, uh, so, and we've got tickets on the glass for Sunday. Show sure, the hockey the game, man. Game. Take the game, go to the hockey game. Tape that, yeah, but I got to come back and do the show. So it's like I got to watch the football game. You know what you'll say? Uh, Johnny had a good drive. The defense gave up 30 points. They lost, and you'll be right. So you're saying tape Brown, sit on the glass? Yes, absolutely. We have great seats. I, I can't tell you, we, uh, the Monsters skated at our rink a couple weeks ago, and all yeah. the kids in our program were there. And they, they were glass, so huh? gracious and so cool. They took so many pictures with all of our kids. They're, I mean, they were just phenomenal. And the Jerry Bednar, street. the new well, the new head coach here in Cleveland, he was with them in Springfield last year, but with the, the Lake Erie Monsters, does a great job. It's a very young team. Uh, Forsberg and Goal is outstanding. Uh, they're off to one of the best starts in Monsters history. So uh, go sit on the glass, watch the Monsters, tape the Browns. They're out of the playoffs. <laughs> they're battling for the number one spot in the, the NFL draft. Don't even worry about the Browns game. I don't think we even battling for it anymore, Kenny. I just think that the guys are going to lay down and just take it and uh, yeah. we're going to have the number one spot. Yeah, Man. but it, here's the thing, though. Tennessee, they're tied. San Diego won yesterday, right? So it's, it's the Browns and Tennessee that are tied battling for that number one spot. So um, it, it's somehow Cleveland will screw it up and, and maybe get luckier. But I, Kansas City needs it for the playoffs well, and Pittsburgh I, needs I do, it for the playoffs. I do so want I think us to you're right. Pittsburgh. I don't care. I want us to beat Pittsburgh some way, somehow. I hope Pittsburgh just take all these starters out and then we go out there and just beat them. But I doubt it, that's if they have If they haven't clinched, they may do that. That's a possibility. Well, I, I hope they do so we can win. That way I don't have to do Although, if you go back to when they won it last with Bettis, right, or one of, or one of the years they won it when, when Bettis was there, they, they played all the way through and were the number six seed and they carried that momentum through. They didn't want to have a letdown, so they played all the way through the regular season, and then at the sixth seed, ran the table. Yeah, I remember that. All right, let's uh, let's go through. Final. Hey, Kenny, why am I forgetting the kid that's from New Jersey that played for the Barons, that plays for the Monsters now? The kid from New Jersey? Yeah, he's originally from Jersey. He played for the Cleveland Barons, the junior team. Oh gosh, I gotta look. I gotta look my roster up. Guys have ah. been coming and going left and right. Yeah, he's not on the roster anymore. Maybe they sent yeah, back they, they've been. They, they, there's been a, a is, as always is the case in the AHL. A lot of coming and going transactions, calls up uh, to the the NHL level, calls down to the ECHL. So guys are, are in flux always. Hey, here's Kenny's picture. Uh, he was talking about of him with the C3. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. No, that's not the real one, is it? I, there was a dude inside it, man. If you like peel his face back. <laughs> There was a dude inside it, and he was sweating like a mother, man. I felt bad I for him because he came took the picture with me, and then he's like, 
he opened his mask and I was like, oh, okay. I didn't know. I thought it was a robot, but there was actually somebody in there. I always thought he was taller. Like in the movie, I thought he looked taller too. No, he's always around that little, roto that little robot, right? R2-D2, yeah. Yeah, they, they were hanging. There's one of R2-D2 up there too. Look, which look, was Kenny, kind of cool. Kenny's just tall, man. So that's, that, look at it. He got to get down there. There it is. Got, got to get down to that level and stand hey, up with C-3PO. Hey, you cast a shot, man. I like that right there. Not bad, huh? No, not bad at all. That's the one thing about Steve Harvey, man. He's going to say Glenville High School, 19. No, I hope he doesn't say that anymore for but your you sake. Know what? Hey, it doesn't bother me. Hey, he, he has, he messed up. You know what I'm hey, everybody happens. makes mistakes. Come on, you Steve Harvey was killing it before last hey, night. He should have made Family a joke. Family Feud, great show. He should have just made a joke about it, and then he could have just, you know, it would have been cool, but he ain't make a joke about it. He's, but it was kind of joking because he was like, you know what? My bad. I'm sorry. I really, I made an honest mistake with them big lips. I made an honest mistake. First round. That's your impression of Steve Harvey? You got to put a mustache. You got to get the I, Steve Harvey stash, I, though. You got to get it growing grow a little bit I thicker. I grow facial hair. It just doesn't happen like that, man. So <laughs> I you can do better than that. Um, uh, you want to do? I'm gonna get a fake mustache. How about that? Steve right, wait, wait, wait. Before we get to fake mustache, Johnny Manziel's mustache yesterday. Straight porn mustache, right? Oh my goodness! Did Ron, you see it, Ron Jeremy? Uh, Ron Jeremy's is, was thicker than what he had yesterday. That thing was was ridiculous. Did you yeah, see it, Kenny? Johnny, Johnny needs some work on that, but maybe that's the, the look he was going for, knowing him. Maybe he'll use that as advantage on social media where he's better than he is as a quarterback. Uh, we don't have a picture of him from yesterday, do we? This is a soundbite. Okay, soundbite. Let's see it. You got to turn two of those into touchdowns at least. Um, I think that was, you know, that was a big area for us where we needed to step up, and you know, we didn't make, didn't make any plays right there. You know, we did on the opening drive and uh, did the rest of the game. So, you know, you look at it from that point. I think we did some good things, and I think we shot ourselves in the foot at times. All right, grade the mustache. I don't even care what he said. Grade the mustache. If, if you're grading it on manly look, F. If you're grading it on the porn stash look, he probably gets like an A minus. I would say it's A minus on the porn stash list. Matt know? Castle has that same little mustache, brutal, which which is ugly to me. They, they try to do that little porn mustache, like leave it alone, let it go, you know, just do like how yours is. I like that. I don't have a mustache. I know. I'm saying you can. You got a little, you know, scrub. I, I shaved this morning too, man. How are you gonna play me? I'm just saying it's a little. You can see what though. What you got going on there? It's the same thing. Oh, you, you'd probably look 10 years younger if you got rid of that fuzz. Man, I don't want to do that again. I, I've been talked about, like, real bad baby face. Would you still? Let, let me, let, yeah, let that's a compliment. A very Trust serious me, discussion. as you get older, you want people to say that. I mean, I appreciate that compliment it. Run with it. I do, but, you know, I just, I don't, like, my daughters, they always want me to cut this off every time they see me. Daddy, cut off your mustache and your beard. Cut it all off, Daddy. They all every time and i'm just like no i did it once well, i actually did it twice I'm, I'm not doing it again all right you're done with it yeah i'm done with this it. is the bald bald versus hair is a wonderful discussion we'll have that, another day i'm seven not. minutes from vacation what well, let's do grade the team yeah all right grade uh besides johnny menzel's awesome mustache great actually his play yesterday um i thought you know forget about the quarterback rating i thought he was a b minus and he didn't look he the one thing i'll say about johnny manzel over and over this year he looks coachable. He looks like a guy that can be a quarterback in the NFL, which is a major upgrade from knucklehead that he was last year. He, uh, I think he, he still does some things that are dumb. There were a couple times he could have thrown the ball away. He had a couple bad passes. Andy, he got tackled by the umpire yesterday. Yeah, that's the, true. The umpire tackled him for an 18-yard sack or something. Now, come on, man. Come on, man. He's not horrible. He's That's not a starting I'm quarterback. He's not a franchise quarterback in this league. Well, he's also it, – it's still the height and the decision-making that make me think he's not a franchise quarterback. That's oh, it. it. Don't even use Johnny Manziel and franchise quarterback in the same sentence anymore. Because it, it, it ain't even, that, that's hey, not even possible. Kenny, I could go in next season league, with him. Yes, as a backup probably is his best suit. Uh, and by the way, our grades aren't so far apart, Kenny. No, I, I, he – he did a decent, what, they get 80 yards on the first drive yes. and I think 150 the rest of the game. Uh, he runs into sacks. Uh, yeah, he did a better job of staying in the pocket, keeping his eyes downfield. They're, they're trying to hammer that home. But that's quarterback 101. You should know that. You shouldn't have to I agree. That. He's a year behind. Now, they didn't play crap Francisco yesterday either. They played a good football team. Yeah, they did. But they, they, they lost by, what, 17 again against the good teams that he started against. They got blown out against the bad teams. 
Like, he's played decent. Johnny Manziel. I just gave him an F. You didn't watch the game. Let's go. Next. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't win. It's You're all right. about winning. Well, so that's I, why they got that's how I graded the coaches. What do you got next? That amazing, outstanding, superb running game of the Cleveland no, Browns. That's why they got an F2. Um, I gave him a C because they caught the ball as well. I mean, Duke Johnson didn't look Duke bad Johnson yesterday. Duke Johnson caught the ball. He was Duke lead, looked he okay. Was a, he was a lead receiver. Isaiah Crowell averaged 2.6 yards per carry. F. That's not worthy of passing grade? F. Isaiah also caught three passes for a whopping 2.3 yards. F. F from uh, Pierre. What do you got, Kenny? I gave him a C. They, they caught the ball out of the backfield. They almost had 100 yards. And if you're close to the century mark running the football in Cleveland, that's a major step forward. Uh, but, again, a lot of that, uh, you, you look at it and you say, where were the big plays? And that's the problem. They, they haven't had many big plays all season long. So I was middle of the road on, on the running backs. I gave him a C. All right. So uh, 94 yards yesterday. That means they're averaging between the last two weeks 150 yards. Yeah, if you, if you put them together, divide by two. That's right. You're going to average Next. That. All right, I want to give a quick uh, congratulations to Gary Barnage, who tied uh, Ozzie Newsom's touchdown can't, record. Yeah, that was worth it. Um, can, I, can I say something about Gary Barnage? No, ahead. you can't. It's he, your he, show. He, no. got, he got a raw deal with that three-year deal. I think that was a low ball by the Browns. They should have gave him more money. They should have gave him more money. Kenny. What do you think, Kenny? Hey, he... What he was making and what he got, he's probably feeling good. But there, uh, the he Browns, if they money. went to him to negotiate, then yeah, they, they lowballed him because they figured they would have to pay more at the end of the year. So maybe Gary should have waited to the end of the year. I, I think he just wanted to get taken care of, and he just and he wants to be here. He likes being here. I just that, think that's fine. He's just built different. I mean, you he were talking about the NFLPA saying having contracts where you give money back. Here's a guy that wants to be here. And I'm not going to complain. He went there and said, I want to be here. Do you want me here? I'm playing good football. I'm getting in the end zone. You yeah. take care of me. I'm taking mil, care of you. 12.6 mil for three years with a 6.3. You gave Dwayne Bowe nine million for one year. I got Come it. On. That's you not going to happen. I don't think you got to give him more. Any you'll never see another Dwayne Bowe type contract because Ray won't be here again. Next. Thank God. All right, grade the wide receivers now that we're talking about. Uh, wide receivers. Uh, wait, wait, is there a wide receiver that was in the – Top, uh, Travis Benjamin was third yesterday. A running back and a tight end. And then another running back that your best wide receiver was Travis yes. Benjamin. Unbelievably glaring how bad they are uh, at wide receiver right now without. Yeah, and Terrell Pryor, forget about it. It's over. It's yeah, over. that experiment failed miserably. Dwayne Boat caught a couple of passes that didn't mean Jack squat. You got, what, four or five drop passes yesterday by the Browns? And right. This is the worst receiving core in the NFL, especially with Hartline out. Agreed. You know what the grade is. F. Next. How Next. about this amazing, outstanding defense, the Cleveland Browns? Uh, we gave up, what, uh, 249 yards, three touchdowns for uh, Russell Wilson? They only punted once. That's an F. It's, it's, uh, I mean... How much more can you get? Uh, F plus. F plus. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I feel good about it. Hey, you know what? It's it's so horrible out there. I mean, for the guys to be fighting against each other on the sideline, instead of fighting out there on the field, you know, to stop guys, that's where it, it draws a line with me because if I got to fight my teammates on the sideline, then it, it's, it's no sense of being out there. Defense, Kenny. All I gave him an F, guys. Ninth time in 14 games, they've given up 30 points. Pierre, when you were in, in New England, did you give up 30 points uh, your entire uh, time there in uh, uh, in New England? They gave up nine, 30 points nine times now in 14 games. Um, I, if we have, trust me, we got some humble pie for it, a lot yeah. of it. So, you know, I, I can't recall ever, like, losing the game that bad. But if we did, I'm pretty sure Bill uh, – Put some Think fire about that. They've played asses. 14 times and they've given up 30 or more points in nine of those 14 games, and this was supposed to be the strength of the team this year. Well, you know, the strength of the team is supposed to be, but 43 games, and I'm not trying to pick on a guy, he is absolutely horrible. Our defense. Don't blame him. Blame the people who signed him to put him out there to play. I mean, Petten was high praise on this guy. Oh. I would just put Justin Gilbert out there. I don't care. Or put Martinez Mingo at safety and or, or corner. Let him cover somebody. At least he's going to run with the guy. Uh, God yeah, damn. Guys, I want to play one more game real quick with everybody. Else. Ready? This is our last game. We're going to play this for two minutes. Will they have a job two weeks from today? 
The game is two weeks from today. Ready? It's rapid fire, too. Here we go, Kenny. Two weeks from today, Mike Pettin, here or not here? Not here. Two weeks from today, Mike Pettin, here or not here? Not here. Sam's it, Club. Sam's Club. Mike Pettin, here, two weeks from today. I, for some reason, I have a feeling he's sticking around. Ray Farmer, two weeks from today, Kenny Rhoda. <laughs> I like that laugh. That's that that's that Joker laugh. <laughs> Come He's on, Andy. Here. Seriously? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come there's, on, man. There's one Come thing on, that could save him. Ma. One thing that could save him. What's that? What? What if he took the fall for the text? I guess. It's if it. he is here, we'll know that, yeah, it was uh, him covering for Jim. Only way he's here 15 days from now is if he covered for somebody on the text. Right? Ramon Williams, Ben Tate, Dwayne Bowe, Ray Danny Farmer. Shelton, You're Cam right. Irving, Justin Gilbert, Johnny Manziel. No. He's out of here. Risto. Verizon Wireless employee. Text messaging advice. <laughs> Verizon Wireless. Um, all right, so if, if you were going to say, I think a coordinator gets fired in Petten stays. If he can fire O'Neal, if he can fire O'Neal, he stays. If he doesn't, then he's gone. That's where I think we are with this thing. Something he gets paid has to either change. Way, so he's going to be all right. We'll say that again. He gets paid either way, so he's going to be all right. I think. I still think. I think going into this week's game, he was 50-50. Let me ask you this: Do you, when you look at him, they were down what was it, twenty-seven ten, I think, in the fourth, and he kicked the field goal. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You're three and three and ten at that point. You're down seventeen points. You're kicking the field goal. Don't give me this. Oh, it makes it a two-score game. Don't give me that bullshit. You know what I mean? That that uh, I'm tired of that. I, I just Tell get so fed up with that. You you're, you got nothing to lose. You're, you're playing at Seattle. You need to score a touchdown. Though. Hey, you know what I think we should do next or after the Steelers game? We're gonna all go no rules because we normally hold back and don't swear. Well, you do every once in a while. I don't you say I don't say much. All right, Kenny. Have a merry merry Christmas. Yeah, Christmas, sounds Kenny. good, man. All right, want to plug your show real quick? Go for it. Monday through Friday, 3 to 7, WHBC 1480 AM is where we're at. Uh, you can check me out. We'll be talking about this, hopefully not at nauseum, but we do have to talk about it. Kyrie Irving came back, Cavaliers won. Out Union did win the national championship. Clark County Hoops is big. We got uh, McKinley, Jackson Lake, three good high school teams uh, down that way. We're going to get into all that and much more, so uh, check it out at 1480 AM WHBC. Thank you, Kenny. Have a good one. We'll talk to you soon. Uh, hey. Any last thoughts for you? I haven't forgot about your drinks, Kenny. Question for you guys. Okay, you guys a question. Uh, I'm thinking about going to oh, see We're Star done with the show. You really have a question? I'm thinking about going to see Star Wars by myself. Yes. Okay. Kenny, is, stick around for this. Is that is that lame? No, not a problem. Go see it. What's the difference? I always thought about that. When I go on the road, that's normally when I, I almost went to go see Star Wars by myself last week. Because I, I don't really need to talk to anybody during the movie. I want to see the movie. I want to get out of it. The only reason I want to see a movie with somebody else is so I can talk to them about the movie when it's over. Not a big deal to go by yourself. Kenny, big deal or not a big deal? Not a big deal at all, man. Go, go be entertained. Not a big deal. Not I go by myself all, all the time. All right. All right. Good enough. That's it. Uh, Merry Enjoy Christmas. Enjoy your vacation, Merry Andy. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Anything you want, referee? Eric, the referee? Uh, to get out of here. All right, we're out of here. Say God bless. Peace, deuces. Stop out. the violence in Cleveland. Peace. Yeah!
No!